Hey everybody, I got the carbs out of the Bandit and now I'm going to disassemble them and get them ready to be cleaned up. I hope you can hear me. I'm just on my iPhone and uh, trying to get a little bit of light in here. And these are pretty messed up, but uh, the guy's evidently done some work to it or on them and I'll show you how I know that or he's been in them, that I do know. But uh, some of the things that I, I do have, I went and grabbed uh, four of these. These were about maybe 50 bucks, 57 bucks on uh, eBay. They're brand new kits. A lot of the kits show the needle, float needle off to the side. It's actually inside there. I didn't know that and I was actually giving the guy a hard time until I freaking moved it and all of a sudden it came out a little bit and I felt like a total dumbass. But anyway, should have So, um, these look pretty good, so we're going to give those a shot. Another thing when it comes to parts, um, I've taken apart and put together uh, probably a dozen, dozen different motorcycles from EX500 Ninjas to, uh, oh, shit, everything. So, uh, one thing I have learned is keep everything in your that you have in your carburetors separated. Don't mix shit that was in number four carburetor and put it in number one or any of that crap because everything wears a little differently so I just do that but what I like to use for containers for the small parts um, it's actually pretty cool you can get them at any store and make lovely sandwiches out of them as well but I just use tuna cans they work great and you can make sandwiches out of the shit that's inside of them but uh I also number them. I number them on the back and or the bottom and the side just in case the number falls off. And I put everything else in here as well. Some people use Tupperware. That's cool. I don't, doesn't matter. I just, I just know that carburetor cleaner and some other stuff can melt that stuff. And uh, just to be on the safe side, if I'm going to let these soak, which I may do, um, I want to make sure that it's not going to eat through it and stain something. I am inside, so I'm not going to spray any carburetor cleaner. I'm just going to start taking this shit apart. Um, I've never done these carbs before, so I'm going to do them slowly, but I'm not going to put you through that misery. I'll probably speed up the film, but, um, I forgot what the hell I was going to say. But anyway, all right, let's get busy with this. But, uh, uh also, with these screws on here, actually it's pretty interesting. Normally all of them have four, these ones only have two. They get stripped. Everybody who's ever even looked at a carb knows that. Uh, and they'll use vice grips. I've used um, these little guys, which have worked real well, and a couple others, uh, if necessary. And it kind of sucks. But I did find out a better way. Is if you get a Dremel and just make a, you know, either one of those lines longer, kind of like knock out the sides on those, you can get a flathead in there, a big one, and just crank it. And it works great. So I've kind of steered away from these things because these are kind of hard to get in and out in different positions and stuff like that depending on the carb but uh but uh, these ones look pretty simple so i'm gonna start taking these off this is the one closest to my left side so i'm just gonna assume it's one two three four so i just have an assortment of tools never know what you're gonna need so let me just start taking this apart and see what's in here because i sure don't know oh man that sucker's on there holy shit there we go. Oh man, I can feel that thing slipping. Good. Yeah. Already, fucking carb one. Son of a bitch. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. <laughs> Fucker. I like that shit. Bastard bolt. Um, now I won't change those out. Some of them are just plain Jane screws, which is not a big deal. This bike has been sitting for about... Whoops, that's number four. What the hell am I doing? That's great. Let's move this one over here. There's number one. Number two. 
three and number two. Look at that shit. Look at that, would ya? All right, let's just take this out. This looks in decent shape. No issues. The guy I got this bandit from, it's in one of my other videos. He owns two other 1250s. And I guess they just, him and his wife just decided that they don't want any more. That's cool. So I got a pretty good price considering he actually um, owed about two, three hundred dollars in, actually about three hundred dollars in, uh, god damn, that one too, DMV fees. Oh, good God. Oh, that one too. Hey, son of a bitch. If I was outside, I may try to Dremel, but these are coming off pretty easily, so I'm not over worried. Come on, you little pointy nosed bastard. Let's go. Take it off. Take it off. on there and depending on how this goes I may end up having to put some penetrating oil and just there we go I like that top of the food chain what do you think of that you little bastard screw all right well, that's all made a nice little sharp edge on that nice Little note, if these get jammed, don't force them. Um, not a big deal. Let's find something. They may just be stuck if they've been there for a while. I don't want to yank by the, the rubber seal by any means. Yeah, that thing was jammed in there a little bit. I can feel goo on that, so. Okay. So you turn. Yes. Good God. This one is frozen. So very lightly gonna just twist to break it free there's no way this carb 
was even running when I went to test the, uh, turned on the engine. Yep, there's a little line again. These little O-rings may be in the kit. I don't know, so I'm going to just be on the safe side. Here's how I know he's been in this before. He's got Allen heads, which is the exact same thing that I would have done. I do that to all of them, even the, the uh, top ones, but since this has a, a sleeve built in, I'm not gonna bother. It's not that big a deal. That's not it. Nope. Really? Holy crap, he put non-metric Allen screws on this, so I gotta go get my other ones. I noticed this on something else as well, so now I've gotta use a different one, which kind of sucks, I've never seen anybody do that before. Small, yes. It's big. Just that one. I don't know. It's like... Nope. I'll try it. I need a good kit. Well, it's gonna suck if I don't have it. Ah, there's a good one. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is he doing, man? Jacking with me like that? All right. And I was at Harbor Freight earlier, and I should have got some different tools. But Alan's work out so well, man. I just freaking love them for doing stuff like this and the best place to get these that I've seen since these are probably yep these are just plain Jane little Allen I could just go to uh, what the hell is it ace hardware and just pick a whole bunch of uh, metric ones up but I may not even worry about it. Who knows? Okay, which carb was this? This is number one. What I'm not sure if I'm going to do or not is take apart everything. I mean, all the rails, everything. I may do. I've done it before and it worked out. It worked out okay on my uh, 700 Nighthawk. Except for the town I was in, didn't really have a whole lot of... Oh, let me do something before I take this off. Damn, dude. Shit does not have to be that freaking hard. Can you see that? All right. There 
Yeah. See? He siliconed it. What the hell's he thinking? There's a screw that holds that down. All righty. Let's do some damage. There he is. I personally like to get the floats out of there just in case I'm having a trouble with anything else that I can, uh, um, I'm not going to damage them. That looks all right. Not so bad. I'll just put those there for now. And if you don't know exactly how to keep the, how to go back together, this is really very simple, but if you don't know, leave one intact. Don't disassemble it. Just as a, as a reference, then get back to it later. That looks lovely. Yeah, there's green slime and everything in this sucker. So I know that uh, if I'm gonna make this thing look so good. Where's my big ass? Just out of here. Where the hell we go? And this is one of the ones that's gonna go in the can because this is gonna get pre-soaked before I start cleaning all this. Freaking horrible. Where is it? There you guys are. I don't know if you can see that. That is just all dewed up big time. I'm excited. I love to see carburetors like this because it just reminds me of how awesome these suckers are going to run. Oh my god, that's freaking disgusting. Sweet. That is just terrible. That's coming out too. If I had my small screwdriver. This was important to get out, and I need to remember that the skinny side, it has a fat side, 
fat side and a skinny side. Skinny side goes up. It's like algae.
ですか。Another bad one. Oh, yeah, he's got that O ring too. Oh, that's fucked up.
two. I mean, fucking do. It's getting a little dark in here now because the sun's starting to set here in San Diego. I'm going to uh, unscrew those and I think that is going to be about it. I think I'm going to leave this on. I think this is some kind of a gear shift sensor or some shit. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but it's some kind of a sensor and I don't feel like playing with it. So I may just Try to be as careful and spray around it as best I can. Um, I do have... Well, I do want to find out also what these are. Why they're capped. Um, and these, I'm hoping... 
these are uh, the what do you call it? Sink screws or valves or something. I don't know if they are. I'm going to find out because I've got a. Uh, um, bring it over here. I've got this. Just bought it. 70 bucks shipped from eBay. And I want to. No, Amazon. So I want to use it because I've always heard it's good and I've seen the results of it. So what the hell? Why not? But uh, I will start, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to take these fully apart. I kind of feel like I want to, um, but I'll, I'll, hopefully you can see me spraying it tomorrow. I'm going to just add that video to this one and uh, um, I may just fill it with some gas once I put everything back together and if, if there's leaks here. And before I spray, I'm going to kind of look for leaks. This looks like it was possibly leaking over here. But uh, this feels pretty solid. But who the hell knows? It could be just completely screwed up. So, luckily, parts for these are pretty easy to find. So I may end up just going to Suzuki and making sure I can get the O-rings and stuff like that. I've done it before. It's not a big deal. But... Uh, um, so yeah, tomorrow when it starts getting a little bit more light outside, I'm going to go on my patio, which is the reason it sucks living in an apartment complex. Just to let you guys know, I have a carport and I have to do this shit somewhere else. But uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have any questions, um, give me a jingle. But it's pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing that was a little bit difficult were these uh, little seats where the needle sits and slides all the way down um, into the uh, float bowl. Those were a little tricky, and they, they're always a little tricky. But uh, I've got like nine cans of carburetor cleaner. I'm gonna just spray them in this, because why the hell not? Um, so yeah, this will be fun. But uh, I'm gonna try to take these out here. Like I said, there's not enough light in here to really do it, I don't believe, and I haven't figured out exactly how I'm gonna do it. So um, I will start again tomorrow.